into CBD habitat and they help support Mediterranean mud seals, so these are classified as critically endangered. So we do have a donation bucket and a spinner bucket today, so if you do have any spare change, go to this incredible charity and this incredible course. It really does make such a massive difference. But here you'll be able to see, we have one of our sea lions here, we have Zana, and she's going to be making her way up to that top platform. So Zana is six years old, and we're also going to be getting out another one of our sea lions, Lo, who is 18 years old. So here at Platform Zoom, we do have seven sea lions in total, and they are all females. Our youngest is five, and our oldest is 18. So here you'll be able to see Laura's going to be getting out another one of our sea lions. They're going to be heading over to the front of their beach and they're going to be showing you some of their different natural abilities and some of the different training that we do here at Blackpool Zoo to make sure our sea lions are mentally stimulated and to make sure they're getting there as healthy as, we can, as possible as well. So you'll be able to learn all about the different ways that we train with our sea lions and again, learn a little bit about these incredible animals as well. So here you'll be able to see Lo, so she's just going to be making her way over to the front. And again, she is, um, sorry, she is actually 19 years old. So again, she's going to be making her way over to the front stand here. We do as a, have seven sea lions in total. So we have four doors just down at the bottom of the pool, and we've got another four pens up at the top as well. So these are the areas in which the rest of our sea lions are at the moment. If you do want to see all seven of our sea lions out and about, we do actually pop back a little bit later after the demonstration. They will be all back out in their pool swimming around to be able to get a close look at all of them. So here you can see we've got Lo is on her stand at the moment, and she's very, very vocal, so you'll be able to hear her barking. And then we've also got Zana, and Zana's just making her way over to the stand here as well. So these are two of our California sea lions that you are going to be able to get a little bit of a closer look at today. So the first thing we always start with our, with our training demonstrations is actually talking through the differences between seals and sea lions. So they're very, very similar marine animals and they can get often get confused. So we're going to talk you through a few differences between these two different animals. So the first difference we're going to talk to you about is their ears. So you'll be able to see we have Zana here, and you can see she's very clearly showing you she has a little bit of skin surrounding her ear, a little bit like our very own earlobes. Whereas the ear on a seal will be a little bit different. The ear on a seal would just be a small hole with hair covering it, so it's a lot harder to see the ear on a seal compared to a sea lion. So that's the first difference that you'll be able to tell. So if they ever see them bobbing their heads out of the water, and you can see the outer ear, you'll know it's a sea lion. The next difference we're going to talk to you about today are those very, very incredible crocodiles. So we're going to see here if we can get Lowe back on her stand so she can show you these amazing front flippers. So these front flippers, they're very strong and they're very powerful and they're useful when our sea lions move around on the land and in the water as well. So I think Lowe here is showing you a little bit more about how she can use those flippers on the land and how strong they are as well. So again, they use these flippers when moving around. There we go, she's managed to show you one of them. And there's Zanahus as well. She's demonstrating how big and how powerful they are. Whereas a seal's front flipper would be about the size of a human hand. So if you look at your very own hand, a seal's flipper would be about the same size. So you can see there's a big difference between seals and sea lions. And that third difference I'm going to talk to you about is the way in which they move. So they gave you a small demonstration of a second ago. They're going to give you a little bit more of one now. And again, showing you exactly how a sea lion would move across its beach. So you can see Lo here, she's moving all across her beach. You can actually push her body off the ground using these front flippers. She can lift her stomach off the ground very easily and she can walk, she can run, she can jump when needed. So it means they're very, very capable of moving all around their beach. Again, they can climb up onto the ramp, they can climb over rocks as well when they need to. So it means they're very, very capable, very, very strong, very powerful. So that's the way a sea lion would move across its beach. But a seal having those slightly smaller front flippers means they move in a slightly different way. So we're going to demonstrate to you how a seal would move across its beach instead. So we're going to see if Zana here can do that demonstration for you. So have a look down at our beach. And that's exactly how a seal would move. So a seal would move across on its stomach. Those front flippers are not quite big enough to push its body off the ground. So they do slide along on their stomachs, just as Zana is demonstrating for you there. So that is that third and final difference between seals and sea lions that we're going to talk you through today. So now you'll be able to tell very, very easily if you're seeing a seal or if you're seeing a sea lion again. So throughout our training demonstration, you'll be able to see our sea lions are getting lots of fish. And this is a reward for all of their different behaviours. 
And this is a training technique called positive reinforcement. So whenever they could do that threat behavior, we give them a reward in the form of fish. And the most important reason that we do all of these different training techniques is so we can do very important health checks. So it's very important we can check our sea lions over, make sure they're as healthy as possible. And again, if they are ever injured or ever ill, we can administer medication if needed. So the first health check we're going to complete today is we're actually going to do a dental check. So you can see how we check our sea lions' mouth and how we can check their teeth as well. So we can actually ask our sea lions to open their mouths so we can check their teeth. So you can see Zana there is opening her mouth nice and wide so Laura there can check inside and again check those teeth. Sea lions actually have black teeth and that's due to all the oils in the fish that they eat. It coats them in a nice healthy layer of bacteria. So if you see darker teeth on a sea lion, it does actually mean they're healthy. So it's very, very important that we're able to check this. Another health check that we're going to complete today is we're going to be checking our sea lion splitters. So this is a great way again to make sure we can check them over. This is the first thing that makes contact with the ground. So again, it can get any small cuts if there's any stones which are in the beach. So it's important we can check them over. But another really important reason that we check their flippers and we can ask our sea lions to present their flippers to us is actually the thinnest part on a sea lion's body. So this is actually where we can administer medications. If we ever need to give them uh, an injection or we ever needed to take blood, it'd actually be from a sea lion's flipper. So it's very important that they're very comfortable presenting these flippers so we're able to do any of these medical checks when needed. The final health check we're going to be talking you through today, we're actually going to be doing a full body check. So it means that we can check our sea lions over from head to flipper and we can check across their whole body for any lumps, bumps, scrapes or scratches. So we're going to see if Santa here can lie down nice and still. And that way Laura can check her over. So again, we can even check our sea lion stomachs and we can even do ultrasounds to check if any of our sea lions were pregnant and check on the health of the pup. In previous years, we have had a very successful breeding program here at Blackpool Zoo. We've had a record number of pups. However, here at the moment, as I was saying earlier, we just have the seven females. So at the moment, we don't have a breeding program, but in the past, we were able to check them over, again, able to do ultrasounds. And this is something that's very important to keep up in their training. So they're never, so they're used to this uh, sensation and they don't ever feel uncomfortable. So if we're completing their health checks today to show you how we do them, they are just going to be getting a little bit of fish. So another part of their training, we do like to take it one step further. What we can do is we can actually encourage and introduce some different natural abilities. So out in the wild, they've been hunting for all their different fish. As they're not hunting here, we do like to encourage those natural hunting abilities. And one way in which we can do is actually by using hoops. So the way the hoops work, we actually encourage our sea lions to use their vision. So it's forward facing, it can judge depth and it can judge distance, just as Zana is able to use it to catch these hoops. So she can use that forward facing vision to see where the hoops are coming from and be able to catch them. But she's also using that very strong and very flexible net. So again, out there in the water, they'll be using that incredible net to be able to move around and quickly hunt all their different kinds of fish. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to move this down into our active oceans pool and we're going to complete this behaviour again. So you'll be able to see again how they're moving both their bodies and their nets when swimming around in the water when they'll be trying to hunt for all their different kinds of food. Again, using that incredible vision, so forward facing can judge depth and just distance, but this can also be a great way at making sure our sea lion's vision is nice and clear and making sure they can see all those different hoops. So sea lions be hunting over 50 different species of fish, including things such as squid, eels and octopus as well. So they are very, very efficient predators. Even if they were swimming through some murky waters, they might not be able to use that vision. They actually have whiskers as well at the top of their noses, which can feel for the vibrations of where fish are moving out of the water. So they can even hunt just as efficiently without the use of their sight. However, our sea lions, they are not top of the food chain. There is something else out there that might want to try and make a snack out of the sea lion. So there is a predator. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask one of our sea lions to do a demonstration for you. So if you have a close look down in the water, you might be able to see what she's doing a demonstration of. So sea lions out there in the wild, they do face predators. And one of those predators is a shark. So low there, she was just showing you a different behaviour. But what we're going to do is we're going to see if Sally can go down into your active oceans pool. And there you go, she's going to be doing a demonstration for you. So she's going to be lifting her flipper out of the water, doing a demonstration of a shark. So sharks, so tiger sharks, bull sharks, great white sharks, and even a killer whale would be natural predators for our sea lions out in the wild. 
So if they ever did need to escape a predator, what they can do is they can get back up onto land, again using these incredibly strong frog flippers, be able to climb onto land. However, if they weren't able to get up onto land quick enough, or they were out in those open oceans, there's a different behaviour that we're going to show you with low that they can do to help escape any predators if needed. This is a behaviour called porpoising. This is where our sea lions jump in and out of the water very, very quickly. This helps them maintain speed, so they can swim up speeds of up to 30 miles per hour out there in the water. And it also means that they can escape any predators, so making it very confusing for any shark to try and locate them when they're jumping in and out of the water. So that is a way in which our sea lions can help escape predators and again help escape any of those sharks or killer whales if they ever did come across them. Unfortunately, our sea lions, they do face another risk out there in the wild. And unfortunately, this is a, a risk that faces a lot of our different marine animals, and that is the risk of plastic pollution. So unfortunately, we have a lot of plastic in our oceans, and it's actually believed by 2050, there'll be more plastic in our oceans than we have fish. So it's really, really important. We try and recycle where possible. But Laura's going to do something we should never ever do with our rubbish, and that is just to throw it out there in the pool. But Zan is going to demonstrate what we should do if you ever come across any rubbish or any plastic. And that is to pop it in a bin. There we go. So we do encourage everyone to push their, put their rubbish in the bin and again recycle when possible as well. It makes such a massive difference, not only for our wild species, but even our animals here at Blackpool Zoo. And again, we have over 100 bins here at Blackpool Zoo, so it's very much appreciated whenever we can clean up and make sure all of that plastic and all of that rubbish goes in. So we are nearing the end of our sea lion training demonstration today. I hope you've learned a little bit more about our sea lions and I hope I you've enjoyed, your, enjoyed seeing them a little bit closer as well today. So if we give them a final wave goodbye. Bye. There we go, they're going to give you a wave goodbye as well. Thank you so much for coming along and listening to our sea lion training demonstration today. I hope you've learned a little bit more about them and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day here at Black